face belongs to Nagzima. The pressure pushed him. What if these aren't the guys? What if they're innocent? We only have to be right for a day. The passion drove his son Dustin in the main event. Well, I tell you what, the whole America, the whole world is watching this thing. You know, last week I had talked about the West Coast. Letter from LA, storming here talking about we watching the pro right here this morning. And I'm gonna tell you what, Dustin Rose, flying Brian Pillman, stunning Steve Austin in this Mongolian stuff, but we're gonna see it today right here. And I can't wait, baby. It's all gonna take place. We're one week closer to spring stampede flair against steamboat yeah one man stampeding towards fortune and glory ricky the dragon steamboat this is his opportunity of a lifetime well there's another situation going on too last saturday night on wcw saturday night hogan had some comments that they're listening to then we'll see the nasty boys but i gotta ask you a question you've done it all in professional wrestling so you think now you become a great television star. You got a real hot hit show here going now. But isn't there some unfinished business you've left behind well, wait, in your wrestling career, Hogan? Well, you know something, there are a lot of people around here that say, Hulkster, when are you gonna get back in the ring? All the kids running around the beach say, Hulk, you're the greatest ever was. When are you gonna do the thing again? But as far as you're concerned, Heenan, over the last 14 or 15 years, every one of your men you threw in my face, I left them land. So as far as my business with you goes, you never had a chance in the first place. What kind of unfinished business hey. are you talking about anyway, Heenan? Well, I'm not, uh... Now, all of a sudden, you're, 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 you're well, making what, excuses. No, no, what were you no, talking no. about specifically, Heenan? What well, I'm specifically talking about well, you're putting your glasses well, on. Get an right attorney. Here. See, right. Just a minute. What I'm specifically talking about is, if, if, if I was a, the, the, the great star that you were, I wouldn't leave things unfinished. I would take care of business. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Do I have to write it in the sand? I think what he's saying, Hulk Hogan, we saw the cover of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, and on the cover, there was a shot of you and Rick Flair. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I don't like to put words in people's mouth, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know the brother's on top of the world right now, dude. I know he's styling and profiling limousines and Lear jets and all that stuff. And I know I have to live with that every day, but right now I've got another agenda going here, brother. I've got thunder in paradise. But I can tell you one thing, Heenan. If something happens, I get back in the ring. I'm going to go right to the top one more time. And when I do get back in the ring, brother, me and Gene is going to be the first man I let know what I'm doing. Hey, gentlemen, out of the mouths of Hulk's come gems, sounds to me like Hulk Hogan wants to get back in the ring against Ric Flair. That would be right on the top. That's what I got out of this show tonight. On Saturday night, we're going to hear Ric Flair's retort to the comments just made by Hulk Hogan. Right now, Jerry Sags is giving some retorts right here to Armstrong. You know, keep your eyes on the nasty boys here. These guys aren't fashion plates, but inside that squared circle, a very effective tag team. Bam, look at this, look at this. Double elbows under the chin there on Brian Armstrong, driving him back to the canvas once again. Then he drops that big elbow on the back of the head down around the axis vertebrae. And a hard slashing right hand to the side of the head of Brian Armstrong. Armstrong would be very wise at this point in time to tag up with Jake Steele, but unfortunately, he's in the wrong corner for that. Well, you know that. You're, you're talking about the World Tag Team Champions. Like the legend said, very astute in the tag team category. They are the best in the world today. Irish whip off the rope, came back with a shoulder smash, drops uh, Brian Armstrong. Good aerial wing over by Armstrong. Had him high up uh, near the shoulder. Full arm drag and twist, and uh, beginning to punish his man. Makes the tag. Jake Steele moves in oh. the ring. Bam! What a clothesline! Did you see that, Gardner? I did indeed. I don't think Steele saw it coming, though. Boy, this guy got a severe case of whiplash here at the hands of the Nasty Boys. So watch the way again. Right back to that tag teamwork, all within the framework of those four legal seconds. The Nasty Boys are going to cut this guy off. Watch Watch their positioning here. Beautiful double backdrop, and then he comes across uh, the leg across the uh, throat of Mr. Steele. Has Steele in trouble? Referee warning. I think there they just let him leave, uh, let him eat a little uh, uh, of the turnbuckle over there. I don't see any turnbuckle coming out of his mouth. I know these these guys are are the best, but just what the legend said. I keep talking about this great tag team action. Cut off the ring garden. See the man can't get over to Brian Armstrong. Is that another Armstrong here, Larry? No, another. There's a bunch of Armstrongs out there, thanks to Bullet Bob, but that's not one of them. I know why we call him Bullet Bob now. 
All right, a beautiful flying body press that time by uh, Nobbs. And the steel down on the canvas. He's got some problems. He's got two of them named the Nasty Boys. Again, tag made by Nobbs. Bam! Sets him up for his partner within the four legal seconds. Watch this. Off the ropes and down right into the abdominal wall. Got a freak out. Boy, they are nasty tonight. I'm telling you, look at them. They're going for it right here. You know, that's 300 pounds, God. You know, 300 plus pounds coming from about 90 feet in the air there. I mean, just like a like a helicopter dropping out of the sky. Loaded with bricks is what caused this victory for the Nasty Boys. Well, the World Tag Team Champions, and they continue their winning ways here on WCW Pro. Let's see if we can have another look here at the Nasty Boys. Great tag team work on the part of the World Champions. And these guys aren't a banquet for the eyeballs but they're an effective tag team machine. Indeed they are, no question about that. We're gonna take a time out here for a commercial message, and then we'll be back with Mean Gene Okerlund. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, put your heads together longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it, your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer, give your breath long last and freshness with Big Red. They say you're gonna bloom. What are you, plant life? Please. You've got all these decisions. You've got a life. Hey, you can make it come up roses. It helps to use this. You see, Secret is pH balanced for your body's chemistry. pH balanced for your decisions, your life. Helps keep you dry, confident. So when you're faced with one of these, you won't pull one of these. Secret, strong enough for him. A pH balance just for you. Today on TBS, two cool characters. First, Paul Newman is Cool Hand Luke. Then, Clint Eastwood is ice cold in the Iger Sanction. Cool Hand Luke at 105 Eastern, followed by the Iger Sanction at 350. Today on TBS. Hi, it's me. We're meeting at 1030. And guess what? Kevin's going to be there. Your face is the first thing people see when they meet you. So I trust it to soap. Take care of it with Noxema. Noxema is just for faces. It dissolves oil while it conditions, so your skin stays soft, smooth, healthy looking. You'll have your face all your life. Take care of it for healthy looking skin. Your face belongs to Noxema. When your dentist cleans your teeth, he uses special instruments that get between them. But what toothbrush would your dentist prefer to use? Well, in a recent nationwide test, dentists tried a leading flat brush and Crest Complete. The brush more dentists preferred was Crest Complete. See, Crest Complete is shaped like your teeth, so it reaches far between them. Now, shouldn't you choose Crest Complete? Of course you should. And it's now available in Designer Black. If you're scared of the dark, don't be. This one comes with its own light. Experience Milky Way Dark. Debbie, these shots are fabulous. Beautiful, Debbie. Better than the last time, Tony? Absolutely. It's my job to make sure people look good. A few weeks ago while doing test shots with Debbie, I noticed something. Dander. So I told her about head and shoulders. You see, regular shampoos merely rinse flakes away, so they could come back. But look, head and shoulders help stop flakes from even forming. You see the difference? Yeah, picture perfect. Head and shoulders turns dandruff problems into beautiful hair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more exciting World Championship Wrestling action. Mean Gene here with the likes of Shanghai Pierce and Tex Lashen, your gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard is right, Mean Gene. Tex and Shanghai are a totally different team in 94. Shanghai is without the mask, a point that we would rather not have made, but did. We've beaten all the people they've thrown up against us. We've beaten the likes of, oh, I don't know, Eric Watts? Wouldn't you say Eric Watts? Speaking of Eric Watts, we heard him out here last.
last week with you belly aching about his little trophy that the dumb Oki misplaced himself. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, gentlemen. Do you know anything about this missing trophy? I don't know nothing about the trophy that was stolen from him. Whoa, 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 whoa. We said it was missing. We didn't say it was stolen. No, no, you said it was stolen. I didn't say it was stolen. Well, well, I didn't say it was stolen. You're the one putting He said it. Time. We're from Texas. We don't steal, Gene. All right, gentlemen, hopefully I can sort all of this out. I thank you. Let's get to the ring. All right, singles action coming up right now. The Patriot. And here he comes. Well, let me stand up and uh, cross my heart. You know, God and our Patriot just come from a successful tour in Japan, fairly new in WCW, a man with a great amount of talent, great amount of speed, great amount of endurance. And I tell you, he does that in a framework of about 270 pounds. Great athlete, the guy. And so is the Patriot. All right, he's lean and mean, no question about that. We're going to see uh, what he's capable of doing against Fred Avery. He's the taller of the two and perhaps muscularly a little more well-defined. They lock up collar and elbow. Neither man, they're just testing each other now for a weight, balance, and strength. God, he seems to, uh, seems to be a pacer. You know, watching him is uh, a lot like, what, remember wrestling too when he had the mask on, he paced himself. Nice reversal, nice go behind right there. Nice takedown by the Patriot. A wastelift takedown by the Patriot and Avery very quickly makes it to the ring ropes. And uh, that forces his break. Of course, a smart wrestler will use those ring ropes as an ally. Well, really, you know, why expel that energy to try to fight out of a hold when uh, the ropes are a reach away? Fred's thinking in there. Yep, no question about it. Once again, collar and elbow side headlock now by Avery. Most of the time, Fred's thinking, all right, thinking what he's doing in there. Well, he could be thinking about his next meal. Got him with a shoulder smash, and this time as he comes in, he was dropped with a flying drop kick, well, a standing drop kick, really, by the Patriot. You know, Gun, uh, as, we, as we spoke in past weeks, it really mind boggles me about the aggressiveness of today's athlete. I would have went out and got him. I mean, I have no qualms about that. You know what I mean? It seems like some of them just playing a waiting game, even though he is very, very talented. And you see he's right back on the arm there. But to me, man, I'm going to go get him. Well, you know, I don't think the Patriots been... Uh do enough mat wars yet to, to realize nice guys finish last, especially in the 90s. Point well taken. All right, a hammerlock, and Avery using the elbow tries to break free, does. Up and over his man, and there you got go. a size 12 right square in the face on that one as he was coming off the ropes. Full arm drag at this point in time and uh, into an upper arm bar. And so Avery who had an opportunity there to gain his feet, did not do so, and the Patriot closes in on that. Well, he's just outclassed, very simple. Patriot Patriot has, has the upper hand, both in ability, skill, knowledge. Look at this thing right here. Must have picked that up over in J-Pan, brother. Yep, step over into a, an outside bar on the arm, and uh, Avery now with an elbow that lacked authority. Irish whip into the far oh. corner, tried to catch him, and did. Got him right in the thoracic area, full slam by the Patriot. And uh, he moves very methodically. Well, you know, he's not making any mistakes here. I'm, uh, he's watching Fred Avery, bam, nailed him right there. But again, why rush in and make a mistake? Fred's a big guy. I think the Patriots got the right uh, idea here. Watch this. Cole Nelson brings it into uh, a form of a... Uh, I think Avery was wore out before this thing ever started. That's, that's what I believe. I mean, this, this thing was very simply easy for the Patriot. I think you're right. I think you're right. He probably uh, was going at about uh, three quarters of his normal speed because he realized very quickly in those initial collar and elbows that this man did not have the strength nor the endurance to go with him. Well, you know, Gordon, talk about strength. I'm really curious to hear Ric Flair's retort about the comments made by Hulk Hogan. Of course, we're going to hear those tonight on WCW Saturday Night. And now let's go to Mean Gene Okerlund. Hi again, folks. I'm Gene Okerlund in the Spring Stampede Control Center. We're about a month away from the Rosemont Horizon in Chicago. 
If you can't join us in the Windy City, make plans now to join us exclusively on pay-per-view cable TV. In addition to the match announced last week between the boss and the massive 450-pound Vader, here's another one just signed for the Spring Stampede. Get this, United States Heavyweight Champion, stunning Steve Austin, will lock up with the Japanese sensation, the Great Muda. Right now, let's hear from stunning Steve Austin, who's standing by with his manager, Colonel Robert Parker. Steve, it seems today them Japanese got the corner on everything, but not on this here title, do they? You know, there's something really wrong with this picture because they fly Japan's greatest superstar to the United States. Yep. And the fans here cheer for him rather than their United States champion, stunning Steve. Well, that's fine with me. Muda, you've got my respect, and I know I've got yours. But one thing you don't and will not have is a United States heavyweight belt. That match is going to be for the United States heavyweight title. Also just announced, a Chicago street fight between the WCW Tag Team Champions, the Nasty Boys, and their opponents, Cactus Jack and Max Payne. As you know, these four men have really been going at each other as of late. And a Chicago street fight has got to be the end of the line. No rules, falls count anywhere. I mean anywhere in the building. Plus, you heard last week in the main event, the WCW heavyweight champ, the nature boy Ric Flair, will be defending against the man who earned his way to be the number one contender, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Fans, if you can't join us in Chicago, then do the next best thing. Join us live on pay-per-view cable television. Or for you satellite dish owners, contact Turner Home Satellite at 1-800-847-3229. It's Spring Stampede on Sunday, April 17th. By the way, this Saturday on the WCW Hotline, I'm gonna be talking about what's going on in the personal life of the great Hulk Hogan. As you know, recently I conducted an interview with the Hulkster, and when we shut down the cameras and turned the microphones off, we chatted about some personal things. I'm going to be telling you about some of those personal things. Give me a call at 1-900-909-9900. Kids, get your parents' permission, but give me a call on the hotline. Join host David Attenborough for a special National Geographic Explorer, Antarctica, Life in the Freezer. 10.05 Eastern, today on TBS. Crunch. Krispies make the chocolate so scrunchious and give your spirit that lift. Get the scrunchest feeling of a Nestle Crunch. I got a Michael Jordan MVP cup, a Michael Stavert burger from McDonald's. He's bound to let me play one-on-one. -on -one. Hurry into McDonald's today for Michael's favorite extra value meal, the Double Big Mac. And for 39 cents more, supersize it or any extra value meal for more fries and more drink. And get an MVP collector cup free. Charles, you sitting there. So what do you say? Just this once. What you want is what you get. To my dear friend Charles. At McDonald's today. D.C., Baltimore, Philly, A.C., New York, Buffalo, Albany. Call Greyhound now. It's the perfect time while it's 9 to 99. Chicago, Memphis, Frisco, Vegas, Miami, Atlanta, Orlando. Call Greyhound now. Go Greyhound while it's 9 to 99. Let's roll if it's San Antonio and that's where you want to go, or Los Angeles because that's where the family is. Call Greyhound and do it now while it's 9 to 99. See your sister, see your brother, see your father, see your mother, see your cousin, see your kids, see your old friend, Sid. Call Greyhound. They've got it down and it's 9 to 99. Tube heads, wake up! You know that $49.95 check that Granny sent you? You know that'll get you your very own Nintendo Entertainment System. Get one and you can play the new Mega Man 6 and battle evil robots. Stop watching those wig commercials! I can even shower with it! And there's Soda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2, where you battle Soda, the man with no face. No more mommy soaps for you. As teardrops fall. So, thank Granny! Oh. Cash the check and get the NES. You have watched too much TV already. 
He's charting a course for danger. Let's do it. On a high-tech ride of a lifetime. Happy. Thank you. RJ Hurricane Spencer, commando for hire. I'll rip your heart out through your throat. Ow! Get ready for the hottest hour under the sun. Terry Hulk Hogan, Chris Lemon, and Carol Alt. See you in paradise. <laughs> Thunder in paradise. With a capacity crowd on hand this week for exciting World Championship Wrestling action. My guest at this time, one of my all-time favorites. I watched this guy and his uh, fantastic career for a number of years, Terry Taylor. You're back in action and back, in my opinion, better than ever. Well, thanks a lot, Gene. I mean, it feels great to be back here in WCW in front of all these people. I mean, you've got the best fans in the world, and I'm happy to be here, but there's a lot going on in WCW. When is Mr. Superstar here call somebody chump change? I never said that. I was just repeating what he said. I heard you. Let me ask you something. We're talking about chump change. Who here has been the national television, the world television champion? You have. Him? Oh, me. And who has been the national heavyweight champion? You have. Hey, chump who change. cares? How long ago was that? I don't care. That was then. This is now. As far as I'm concerned, you're a has-been. You are chump change. You know, Terry Taylor, I have no idea what Diamond Dallas Page is thinking of. That was absolutely reprehensible. Yeah, you know, a lot of guys have come through WCW and they think they're going to make a reputation at Terry Taylor's expense. Diamond Dallas Page, a lot of guys with more credentials, a lot bigger, and a lot more guts. So you're going to find out just like everybody else. You may think it's going to be an easy thing, but it's not. You pick your names out of a fishbowl, you pick your opponents, but you picked on the wrong guy this time. So when I get you back in the ring, if you'll get back in the ring with me, I'm going to teach you a lesson because I'm going to kick your can off this planet if I have to. Check it out. If you don't believe me, test me. Come and try me out, Diamond Dallas. Get in the ring. Promotional considerations paid for by the following. You Jurassic Park dinosaurs are on the loose. Can the Dino Tracker stop them? T-Rex turn and breaks up a fight. Jaws Jackson snags a ram head. Look for all the incredible action. It lives on Jurassic Park. Machine gun blasting, molten morphing, Terminator 2 video game action in T2, the arcade game, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now on Super NES, Genesis, and Game Gear. Listen up, crime fighters. Bartman meets Radioactive Man is flying to a Game Gear system near you from Acclaim. Pez ducked out of the way as uh, the equalizer charged him. Pistol Pez using that speed. Hit him with a drop kick, but it did not take the equalizer off his feet. Came up with a cross body block, and the equalizer turned that to his own advantage. Well, you know the equalizer is a very powerful man, and now that he's found his brother, you know, I've known Kevin Sullivan a long time, God and soul, uh, and the bottom line is here, I always knew someone was writing somewhere, and we've seen him right here. The brothers are on the air right here. You know, it makes you wonder if their mothers we're taking those radioactive vitamins in the 50s. Definitely oh. not full deck wires hair. Look at Sullivan. Well, he got uh, David's attention. A snap there now by Kevin Sullivan. Brings his man back down. Don't forget tonight on WCW Saturday night, it'll be Arn Anderson taking on Shanghai Pierce. Sting takes on Paul Orndorff. And Flair is going to respond to some... Well, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He's taking his clothes off. Getting a good shot at him right here. Pretty soon we're going to be in a nudist camp. You know, I can't wait to hear Flair's response tonight on Saturday night to the comments made by Hulk Hogan. Take a look at Sullivan here. You know, both these Sullivan boys, Gordon, 
They're not nice guys at all, especially this equalizer. Yeah, he's merciless all the way. Now it's a Dave Sullivan in there pounding Demore back to the canvas once again. Also tonight, Mean Gene will bring us uh, more information about the spring stampede on our new control center. And as I said, Flair, Rick Flair, is going to respond to the comments uh, that we heard from Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I'm really anxious to hear what, what the Nature Boy's got to say about the Hulkster Hulk Hogan tonight on Saturday night right here. Whoa, you know what's going on here? I, I know this here. He has just tied him to the Tree of Woe. Tree of Woe? The Tree of Woe. This is one of Sullivan's uh, big deals here. Now watch him just pulverize this man's stomach. To keep oh. Sullivan out of the rainforest. Man, and he's catching him low in the stomach as well. Almost a low blow, but we ain't in boxing, so, uh, boom, big old headbutt right there, I'm telling you. You know, God, I think he's about to set him up for, for this, uh, end right here. Right here, go for this big slam. Now, watch this here. Pow! Right down across those abdominus erecti muscles. That takes care of breakfast. Lunch and dinner as well. Quite a victory for this combination. Older brother, Kevin Sullivan, along with uh, the equalizer, David Sullivan, or Dave Sullivan, Evan, as he calls himself. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a strange group. Right here, you're going to see, as he's tied to the tree of woe, as he went to work on that abdominal section, as you said, picked him up, went over, nailed him, already got him down from that big blast in his stomach, hooks the leg right here. The Sullivan Brothers take a victory. All right, fans, we're going to get you back to more exciting action here in just a moment. Diamond Dallas Page, I should remind you, this is a smoke-free facility. But hey, Stuff it, Gino. You know, all I know is I'm sitting back in my private dressing room getting a complete massage by the Diamond Doll when Terry Taylor comes on whining like a baby. Dallas, he took a fishing pole and he beat me with it. He knocked me out with a, uh, a tackle box. Let's get two things straight, Gino. The first one's this. I don't need any more than this to knock Terry Taylor out. And the second thing is, I never did that stuff to begin with. What, are you calling me blind? I, I think myself and a national television audience, I witnessed exactly what you did, Paige. You know, they've got you bamboozled already. It was a complete, it was a, I don't know what it was. The bottom line is this, Taylor, you got no rematch with Diamond Dallas Page. I want nothing to do with you. Get in the back of the bus. I'm the man, and you're out. I thank you very much, Diamond Dallas. Thank you, dear. My little buddy sleeping like a baby. You won't mind if I take a bite of his crispity, crunchity peanut. I told you, Homer. Uh. Nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. To space with Star Wars. May the Force be with you. Star Wars Micro Machines. There's a cool adventure in every collection. Micro Machines Star Wars collections and vehicle collections, each sold separately. Game Genie now costs less. Now get Game Genie for NES and Game Boy for $29.99. For Super NES, Sega Genesis, and Game Gear, $34.99. And if you don't have Game Genie, you'll never know how far you can go. Each sold separately. Taste the sound. You can hear it. Feel the crunch. Lift your spirits. Get the crunch. Introducing the full line of Tiger Shark personal watercraft, the high-performance Barracuda, the one- or two-person Daytona. <laughs>